management of ARDS. So coming to pneumonia, I'm sure there are a lot of uh, pneumonias that all of you have encountered. Of course, the basic and the most common remain the community acquired pneumonia, beyond which of course there's the hospital acquired or the healthcare associated pneumonia. And then the most dreaded is the ventilator associated pneumonia. So a large percentage of respiratory infections are going to be actually pneumonias and a large percentage of these patients may actually land up in the ICU, especially if they are uh, having comorbidities or if they are elderly. Pneumonias in elderly patients can actually be extremely harmful. They carry a high risk of mortality and morbidity, and hence they need, it, need to be uh, identified and managed aggressively. So very common uh, organisms which are responsible for community-acquired pneumonia, streptococcus pneumonia, mycoplasma, and hemophilus influenzae. So I am telling you this because the choice of antibiotic that you start for a patient would hugely depend on what uh, organism you think is responsible. So when it comes to healthcare-associated pneumonia, the most common organisms will be either gram-positive bacteria like staph, or streptococcus or MRSA. Whereas when it comes to ventilatory associated pneumonia, there would be pseudomonas, MRSA, Klebsiella, and in certain settings, even Acinetobacter. So every hospital has its own uh, microbes. It has its own uh, sensitivity patterns, which usually people working in the hospital are pretty much aware of. So when the patient gets ventilatory associated pneumonia, the treatment basically depends upon the uh, uh, organism that you may majorly face in your setups. When it comes to community acquired pneumonia, I think the antibiotic of choice to begin with is, empirically is um, you could choose between macrolides, quinolones, or second or third generation cephalosporins. Again, when it comes to healthcare associated pneumonias, you need to start with slightly higher end antibiotics compared when you compare it with the community acquired pneumonia. And these patients may have worse outcomes when compared with people who land up with uh, community acquired pneumonia because these bugs are uh, more often than not a more resistant variety. 